I've got this 60s BSA tank. Um, now, I've done a few of these. They're uh, chrome with paint. Uh, this dent happens to be on chrome. And um, chrome is different to work with, but it's not something that you need to shy away from. Now, this particular uh, tank, I, I met this guy. It's really interesting. Is I met this guy at the BSA rally. Uh, it happened to be local. Um, a friend of mine posted on uh, Facebook. He just saw 400 BSAs drive by. And I asked him, where are these guys? And they were at a local campground, KOA. And so I went down there, met these guys, hung out with them, and handed out my card to everybody. And uh, so I met this guy through that, sent me his tank. And this tank is an all original tank right now. And it's not perfect. It's got a lot of pitting in the, in the chrome. And at some point, he's, he said he's going to redo the tank. But for right now, he's going to keep it the same. So on a tank like this, the the chrome, you know, if they want to get it re-chromed, we're the only answer to this. We're the only solution because this has to be absolutely perfect. Now, if if he was going to re-chrome this, I go an extra step and actually after I work out the dent, I'll file it, sand it and smooth it out so it's perfectly flat, make sure it's absolutely dead on, so when they take it to the chrome, they don't have to do anything. Uh, in, this in this case, he's gonna leave it like this for a little while, chrome it later, so I'm gonna get it as perfect as I can. Now the chrome, what happens with chrome is that it can kinda do like, a, it, it acts a little bit like aluminum in the finish. It kinda can do a little crinkle thing in the finish. Um, if you guys have worked on aluminum, you know what I'm talking about. So that's um, what you kind of expect. I still heat it up. I've got my heat gun here on here. I heat it up to about 130 degrees. Um, just pretty warm to the touch. I can't keep my hand there. But eh, if I'm right on top of it, it's too hot to put my hand there. So that's where I go. Uh, and this is an unusual mount. So uh, I'm going to see how this thing turns out. All right, I'm all done with this tank and try to give you some close-ups of it and it's a little textury um, it's not absolutely perfect but it's pretty darn good I think this customer I think will be very happy and when he goes to re-chrome this thing um, they'll be able to get that out perfect sand it down a little bit and, and then re-chrome it and it'll look like brand new again so now on this particular tank, one of the things it does, because I am leveraging off this, is it dents this in a little tiny bit. You can see that. And I just take a simple slide hammer, hook it up underneath there, and bring it up. Uh, no big deal, simple fix. And that's how we repair that.